Good morning, Buttes, here on a Monday morning. Not to just remind you that we have a new episode that dropped today with Sarah Simeon. Lots of good content there, but a little one-off content, Kirsten. Matt Boldy locked in with the Minnesota Wild, seven-year extension, $49 million, with puts, which puts him excuse me, at $7 million a year. Well-deserved for the young kid from Massachusetts. A hundred percent. And how's that to go along with your morning cup of coffee, getting that piece of news to wake up to um, kind of sweetens the deal for Minnesotans a little bit, waking up this Monday morning after a heartbreaking Minnesota Vikings loss as well. But no, the Matt Boldy contract extension, it's something that has been up in the air. You knew Bill Guerin was working on it. Um, it was something fans wanted to know when it was going to happen, how it was going to happen. Um, it does bring up a lot of other questions now, Jesse, that you had mentioned as far as cap space goes, but very exciting news. The estimate is around $9 million of space left. You have Philip Gustafson, who you need to decide what to do with, Kaylin Addison, Brandon Duhame, Freddie Goudreau, Sam Steele, Mason Shaw, Matt Dumba, Ryan Reeves. All of those players need to be accounted for as far as what you're going to do. Not to mention you still do have the trade deadline, whether you use that opportunity to free up some cap space or you look at different rentals, I'm guessing you're not really, I mean, a rental is probably the only option you could do at this point in time. Um, again, you know, numbers like way above my head. Uh, but I do, I love it. I think Matt Boldy has not even neared the capability of what he can achieve yet with this team. I mean, you've seen him now come back this year, continue to improve on what he did last year, continue to be, a huge part of this Minnesota wild organization. So to lock him in for seven years is, is absolutely huge because he has so much room to continue to grow in his game. He's still a young player. Um, and I see him only continuing to trend upward too, which is always the goal at the end of the day. Absolutely. And I think the saying around Matt Boldy this whole season, as far as his skill goes, is once he starts being more selfish with the puck, mm -hmm. we're only going to continue to see what he is capable of. So a lot of exciting things on the horizon for him. But also you mentioned all of the players that the Wild need to figure out how to re-sign. And then when you take a look at the prospect pool, I kind of feel like there's definitely potentially things going to be changed up at the trade deadline and possibly even like a sh big shakeup to the team come next season. So it's mm -hmm. going to be really, really interesting to see how Bill Guerin shifts the picture and moves the puzzle that moves the chess pieces around essentially um, and how he's able to make this work. Cause I think this is the first year with this cap situation we're in, we're actually seeing and experiencing how tough it's going to be. Right. I mean, similar to last year, you're not going to see the same team stay intact next year. You just, you can't. And Bill Guerin told us on Saturday, he has no regrets about that. You know, he has no regrets about those vials. I don't think anybody does at this point from a culture standpoint, from a playing standpoint, um, you know, and Bill, as Kirsten, you said, he is out there playing chess. Most of us are looking at it at a check as a checkerboard. He is out there making moves that are just so impressive. So as we always sign and say in Billy G, we trust, I do trust that, what he's doing right starting with this extension to Matt Boldy I love to see it I go back to and I will retweet this because I am very proud of myself for it I remember on draft night I was up at my mom's watching draft night and everybody was so upset that they went and selected Matt Boldy at number 12 and I was like you guys saw glimpses of him at the All-American Prospects game in St. Paul that year uh obviously big USA hockey girl so I'd always heard about him and I was like you're gonna love him you're going to really enjoy what he can bring to the team uh, you know, forget Cole Caulfield because that was the big hype was Cole Caulfield kept dropping and Matt Boldy went before him. Um, and how do you like it now, guys? He told you he's good. Uh, and he is locked in until at least the 2029 30 season. So good for him. Jesse, that's very Ryan Hartman of you to like keep the receipts of your tweets and reshare them. <laughs> so I love yeah. it. Also to backtrack slightly, um, speaking of all of those guys, once again, that need to get re-signed or figure out what to do with, with the cap situation. I could also see a number of them just taking team friendly deals during this mm -hmm. situation. I think all of them without a question, love being in Minnesota. So that could be an interesting factor that goes into play as well. Right. And I think locking up Matt Boldy for that long period of time right now is the right move, because as I said, he's only going to get better. So that value is only going to continue to go up. So while it might've looked more favorable to have Garen sign him for just kind of a bridge deal and, and keep it going and save a little bit of money, 
why not get him at this very fair price right now? And again, it's a fair price for Matt Boldy too. There, that potential certainly could be wrong. You might not get what you're hoping, but I think you will. So I think it's it's a really good deal for both ends, which is always something that you strive to get. So congrats to Matt Boldy. Uh, I will be heading out to practice, checking in with him, Dean Ebsen and Bill Guerin today. So follow along on Twitter for those updates. Don't forget to check out this week's latest episode where we talk about style points uh, with Sarah Sivian and much, much more. Plenty of hockey talk as well. And also don't forget to go check out our one-off episode from last week's live show at Kazi's in Stillwater. Again, thank you to everybody that came out for that. Uh, mostly, thank you, Matt Boldy, for sticking around, having faith in this Minnesota Wild organization for a little bit longer. Thank you, Matt Boldy. Thank you, Matt Boldy. Boo Vikings. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.